So this month we'll be working on um, baskets, materials, tools, different things regarding basket weaving. I've always welcomed anybody and everybody to come to class, you know, that wants to learn the language. Tashtaninim Waltrichin? Which one? That's a secret. Oh. Uh, oh. In the last few years, we have picked up more students that are really advancing. Destiny, a lot we. <laughs> My granddaughter, Destiny, has really gotten excited about working with the language with me. Right now, I think my main goal is to get her to doing phrases. I can understand it more than I can say it, so I kind of well, got to get over that, getting it out of my mouth. Like, I'm trying to be like, the fluency part, it is hard. My, 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 she? <laughs> Sheila, she, burden basket. Sheila is my cousin, the burden basket. At first she felt really intimidated. She wanted to make sure that she said things right. To me, she's the one that has advanced so much. Sheila, throat. I said, nim, chakachin. My mom, growing up, uh, she would talk to me in the language and she would scold me at times because she wanted me to learn, but it wasn't really a priority. Step the fish. Cradle board. Eventually, I had to take care of her. She lived with me. She would still throw words out at me, but um, I knew in time that uh, I was going to lose my language. Anap, anap, anash. Anap. So when I lost my mom, I felt like I lost myself. So I talked to Jennifer about it, and I told myself, I'm going to go back to my language. And from that day on, that emptiness went away. Is that going to be your basket? <laughs> <laughs> she going to make hers with X's, X's and O's. It is hard to be fully committed to being native, but also living in today's world of being English and just living life. Since 2017, when I had my son, it was like, I wanted to do it for him. I wanted to make sure that it was there for him when it was his time. Uh, it was my goal to learn as much as I can. And as long as Marie is here, I told Marie, I'll always be here. I'll learn with her. Oh, Muknish, Muknishi. Muknishi. Indian tobacco. Banoi. Shokin. Shokin. Okay. Kaboo. <laughs> the fluency part, it is hard but it's something that I can dedicate my life to and hopefully be there within, I couldn't even say a couple years, it would probably take a lifetime. Walter Trin. Oh, eh? They're learning so well and it just makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something too. It just makes me feel really good to, to know that this is gonna keep going, you know? Oh, take one, let me see. Oh, there's about five that really I have confidence in that they will carry it on and they'll be teaching. There should be more. I know there should be more, but I don't know. I can't, I can't say. Thank <laughs> you.
I'm doing time. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm oh. doing time. I'm doing time, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Grandma Poop. <laughs> Grandma Poop. Grandma can't see. Okay, next page. Look, look turn the page. My grandkids have been my inspiration, and with my new great-grandson, I just feel so excited to pass anything on to him, you know, so that he can grow up with our language. Look at Banoi Upesh, February. Mm -hmm. I've worked on making a little flip book for my son. So bon Mayan. I want to bundle up with our blankets. Oh. <laughs> One of the main things that I want to do is make sure that he's hearing the Wichumni first before he figures out the English. Oh. Wicknut not come up my shmum. Oh. I love you so much. Do you love me? <laughs> I know he's picking up on it real good right now. Cause he even listens to me when I tell him, Jukwe or Hama Hod, what do you want? And <laughs> Nim. <laughs> Tell him great great grandma. Bon bon no no. Okay, so sukwi min shumlela. You know, mom's always said she just wants someone to talk to and with him being so little, you know, if he says hey, that, she'll be excited. Ega. Hey, <laughs> me? Mm -hmm. is she? I'm huh? hoping that he will have someone to talk to. Oh, He's going to have a little cousin coming in March, so maybe they can get together and learn the language, and he will be the teacher. There's your page. Probably teaching his mom, too. Ta'usit <laughs> chumuk. The fire is warm. Get upe. It is special to have your great-great-grandma there in the first years of your life. That's when you learn everything, you know, in your first couple years of life. and. He's gonna have that. He, I don't know if he'll ever remember it, but I hope he does, you know, like. And every time they're together, I'm like, oh, you gotta take a picture of them. <laughs> like, I want them to be together, you know, like. We try to capture that moment any chance we yes, get. Thank you. Let them in, So I know you guys haven't been out here to gather with me before on these. So these are the sourberry sticks and you know the name? In the language? Takati and Wichet. Takati and Wichet, Hoi. And what are what do we usually make <coughs> with these? These are used for the backing on the cradle board. Uh, the, the the frame, the whole thing. Oh. Uh-huh. You gotta scrape them down to the white part like this. That's how you clean them and make them look pretty for the cradle boards. It is the time right now to go out and clean. gather our basket materials. You gonna learn how to clean them, Destiny? <clears throat> takes 26 sticks to dart the cradle board. So exciting to have my grandchildren with me, you know, because it is a family time too. You're a good gatherer. <laughs> See, they come to you. My grandson Donovan, you know, he did learn a lot and mom was so proud of him. She still is. 
He knows a lot of language, but uh, even in English, he don't really talk that much. You know, he's kind of shy or whatever. See him over there? There's about five long ones up there. Oh, okay. Can you get through there? I'll get through there. How's it going, Destiny? Good when I can bend over. Sounds like me too. <laughs> Basket weaving is our rules of life, basically, you know, so all of that ties in together. And when she spends time with me, I think that's all I really talk to her about, you know, is the things that we do. Oh, that, that helps a lot. My Native American name is Apori Benoy and Pa'an, which is sunshine of two worlds. My grandma says it's the Native American world and the white world. As a young person, it's hard to combine both of those worlds. It's almost like I have this duty to be a part of it, you know, and sometimes it can be hard to stay committed to that, but I try my best. <laughs> Ah, liver. Look what Grandma's got. Witchet. Wicky Witchet. There's a lot of straight ones on the ground. Should I sit down there and get them? <laughs> so, thread is what? Elu. Elu, and then scissors? Uh, chish. Meowish. Meowish. Ouch, meowish. Grandma's whole house smells like this. <laughs> yeah, when, it, when I'm cleaning. You know, a lot of people don't get that chance to have grandma and mom and uncle and great-great-grandma, four generations all out there together. He's going to remember this when he's older. I wished I would have listened more when mom started doing language with us. I could have learned a lot. And I'm afraid that my nieces and nephews are gonna say that one day. And who's gonna be here to teach them? Who's gonna be here to carry on the work Chimney language? If we lose our language, it's like we don't exist anymore. Strap was a new word to the strap for the cradle board is called. A long time ago, our ancestors learned it from the beginning. So I feel like my son is our next step to get it to that point. You know, like since he's so small, like he, he's just gonna be able to soak it up like a sponge. Let's go, my God. As long as we have our resources and things that we can look back on, I can continue my great grandma's legacy his great-grandma's legacy, and, and mine as well. Look at Next this one. month is... The thing that makes me feel good is how my kids feel about her. You know, she's their whole world. And... Uh, they'd do anything in the world for her. Yeah, it seems like that. <laughs> They're so... Uh, they're so awesome. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. And I know that everybody knows how hard mom has worked on this, but from me to her, to a big thank you. And uh, she has just given us so much. I think that uh, the dictionary has brought us together and uh, it's just a, a dream that I've had, I guess you'd say, that uh, I could hear the language spoken again uh, and uh, with me, because um, who I miss the most is my grandma and speaking the language and uh, what she, just the things that she taught me. And I just want to uh, hear my uh, family speak it, the language again. Because there's no one else to speak with. 